Oscar De La Hoya, the former superstar professional boxer, has lived in some pretty luxurious real estate so far. This includes a pair of lavish homes in Bel Air, Pasadena, and even a training retreat he designed himself. Fresh off a welterweight title win, Oscar dropped $3.35 million for a contemporary style home in Bel Air back in 97. After completely redesigning the home, he put it back on the market for a whopping $18.5 million. More recently, Oscar moved into a top of the line condo at the Montana and downtown. Town Pasadena for $2.6 million. In addition, Oscar designed Big Bear Training Retreat that Tito Ortiz purchased and was listed for $1.65 million. Today, we'll take a look at some of Oscar's impressive homes and real estate. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Oscar De La Hoya has already killed it in his professional boxing career over the years, garnering a net worth of $200 million. After retiring from the sport, Oscar's transitioned into a highly successful boxing promoter and investor. De La Hoya's good looks and charisma led him to other business interests, including a Spanish language boxing show on HBO, a clothing line, and various other merch deals. Oscar even recorded and released an English-Spanish Latin album titled Oscar that got him nominated for a Grammy Award. De La Hoya authored a children's picture book, Super Oscar, in 2006 as well, which received a ton of positive reviews. Outside the ring, he became a promoter, as I mentioned, as president of Golden Boy Promotions, which is a boxing and MMA promotion firm based out of LA. You name it, the guy did it. Talk about versatile. First making bank from boxing salary and endorsements, Oscar was nicknamed the Golden Boy. And his amateur career included 234 wins, 163 by knockout, with only 6 losses. Oscar made his professional debut by scoring a first round knockout victory. At age 28, Oscar was the youngest boxer to have won 5 world titles. De La Hoya enjoyed a 17 year long career with 10 world titles in 6 different weight classes. He defeated 17 world champions and was a top money maker for professional boxing, thanks to becoming a marquee fighter for HBO Cable TV. Oscar still remains one of the most celebrated boxers of his era, so today we'll take a deep dive into the many luxurious homes owned by the former champ. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. Today we're checking out some of the properties of Oscar De La Hoya, including his Bel Air, Pasadena homes, and more. I saw some of you guys were requesting this house tour too, so you don't want to miss it. If you like this video, we've also done house tours on the likes of Roger Federer and Hulk Hogan, and we'll link to some at the end. As usual, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. Way back in 1997, fresh off a welterweight title bout against Hector Camacho, Oscar dropped $3.35 million for a contemporary style home in Bel Air. The home was completely redesigned during his ownership and was listed again in 2015 for $18.5 million. In total, this lavish mansion features a whopping 8 bedrooms and 9 bathrooms within over 10,300 square feet of space. The luxurious mansion is heavily guarded, stashed behind two sets of iron gates. The two-story home is located on a hillside in Lower Bel Air and is accessed by a 300-foot driveway. Beyond a wrought iron front door, guests lucky enough to visit are greeted into a formal entry that opens to a skylight-topped foyer with a curving glass and staircase. The combo of herringbone, wood floors, vaulted ceilings, and gallery walls decked out with chic paintings just add an extra touch of elegance to the home. The estate was full of luxe features, including a formal living room with a cozy fireplace, flat screen TV, and grand piano. Not to mention the space comes complete with a step-up wet bar and a wine room that also shares a large wall aquarium with a formal dining room. More goodies to add to the house include a separate wing designed for entertaining with a theater room that is packed with plush seating, a massive projector screen, and additional bar perfect for hosting. Steps away from the theater, there's a games room complete with billiards table, and an enclosed sunroom with a ping pong table for more games to be had. In addition, Oscar's former residence had a home gym that put regular gyms to shame, complete with dry sauna, jacuzzi, and his or hers change rooms. But what else would you expect from a boxing champ? The spacious master the master bedroom featured a cozy fireplace, chill sitting area, and private balcony access. 
In addition, his former bedroom came complete with a walk-in closet full of space. The ensuite was a spa-like bathroom with dual sinks, a step-up soaking tub that boasted spectacular views of the California mountains and a large standing shower for relaxation. Moving outside, the backyard may be the showstopper at this mansion. The sprawling exterior grounds featured nearly three acres centered on a gorgeous wide stone patio that flowed into a swimming pool and spa with its very own waterfall. In addition, the patio boasted a number of lounging spots and a barbecue pit perfect for hosting your guests. I'm sure while Oscar lived here, he definitely soaked up this impressive yard and relaxed. Behind the pool, steps lead down to a lighted tennis court and basketball net. Back in 2017, Oscar ended up buying a condo at the Montana in downtown Pasadena for $2.65 million. This is where he's said to still live to this day. This residence features 4,150 square feet and boasts three bedrooms and 3.75 baths. There's a gorgeous terrace that adds an additional 500 square feet of living space and features plant beds, a hardwood deck, a barbecue area, and tons of room for outdoor lounging. In fact, his outdoor living area is one of the largest at the development. Inside Oscar's condo, the interior features dark toned hardwood and natural stone tile flooring throughout. In addition, there are oversized windows which include walls of glass and glass doors to take in the stunning view of the private patio. Home features a formal entry, a living room with a limestone fireplace that is perhaps the centerpiece of the home's interior, and a beautiful Eden kitchen. This kitchen is decked out with a suite of top stainless steel appliances, marble countertops, Tops in a spacious island. There's even a breakfast nook to enjoy some casual meals. Elsewhere, there are features like a library den, an office where we're willing to bet Oscar signed a few deals, and a wine cellar. In addition, some perks to living in a condo include the building amenities like 24 hour security, an indoor exercise pool, a fitness center, a library with lounge, and a first floor atrium. Finally, let's take a look at the Big Bear Retreat designed by Oscar De La Hoya and later owned by Tito Ortiz which was last sold in 2017 for $1.5 million. Oscar purchased multiple properties here in the late 1990s and transformed it into a compound that included a pair of log cabin style homes that combined to offer five bedrooms and 5.5 bathrooms and nearly 7,200 square feet of interior space. Surrounded by tall pines on more than an acre of land, both structures feature knotty pine paneling, stone fireplaces, and antler chandeliers. Walls of windows and sets of skylights invite natural light in while bringing views of the grounds inside. The selling point of the home has got to be the beautiful mahogany wood deck that boasts panoramic lake views. Oscar liked to work hard and play hard, as the exterior of the home featured a putting green and a footbridge that crosses over a running stream. In addition, the home featured a detached garage once used as a gym that has parking for as many as four cars. This was the home where Oscar would come to get some alone time and focus on training before a big fight. It's no doubt Tito Ortiz used the home in a similar fashion. All right, so I think we'll bring this house tour to an end here. We got to take a look at the homes of Oscar De La Hoya, including his former Bel Air mansion, his current condo in Pasadena, and his former Big Bear Lake retreat. After seeing those homes, what did you think? Which was your fave of Oscar's homes? Personally, I'm a huge fan of that Bel Air mansion. It did everything, and I love any mansion with a gorgeous home theater. Not to mention the backyard with pool and waterfall. You guys can even go ahead and rate his houses in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram. Instagram to chat and I will see you all next time. Bye!